So, catalog's back. Let's dive right in. Temporary link established. Temporal frame of reference update requested. Error confirmed. Koram Vogis. Corrected reference to Promethean Command Warship losing primary structural control to 2557, 05, 25, 23, 14, 23. Due to heavy caseload, responses to queries may be delayed this week. So this starts with a correction to a previous catalog answer concerning the Didact ship being destroyed. Catalog had originally post 2552 instead of 2557, and I had suspected as much back in video 4. The end, well, that's obvious, right? Temporary link established. Query. Why won't you answer our queries? Query answer. High priority tasks preempt processing of secondary queries. Background processing of queries continues with next data drop scheduled in approximately 72 hours. Due to extensive backlog on secondary queries, answers will be selective. Current date in the Halo universe relative to catalog? 17th March, 2558. Clarification. Current date does not advance in lockstep with Air to Tyrene Solar Days. This is a fun one and kind of a cheat on Catalog's part. It seems the time passes differently for us than for Catalog. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. Query. What is the current status of Maker of Moons? Priority. Query answer. Archive Secunda, Provincial Police Magistrates. Records indicate active cases regarding regress data integrity failure. Status updated by Builder Authorities to High Probability KIA in Uthera Midgerd system. Potential recovery options excluded due to sector designation. Burn. This one seemed kind of obvious. For reference, Maker of Moons was a builder and one of four forerunners that had been left in a burn or flood infested system by the Master Builder. Trapped along with a catalog, the Ord Didact, and a forerunner named Sharp by Striking. She and Sharp attempted to escape in status bubbles while the Ord Didact and Catalog remained behind. Now given how infested a burn usually is, I mean, we're talking whole star systems here, it makes sense that she would be most likely dead. If not by the Flood's hands, then by the Halo Arrays. Query. What is the name of the third Kigyar subspecies, the others being Tavao Kigyar and Ibyesh Kigyar? Query. Answer. Human life worker, authorities have yet to establish a definitive organizational classification to the major phenotypes of Kig Yar. A full bioinformatic indexing is required to assess specifics of fertility among populations. Trinomen would presumably be related to geospatial loci of populations as they originated on Aeon, Root, Tval, and Ibish. So now we can identify the three major subspecies of Kig Yar, or jackals, seen in the Halo series. The ones seen in the original games are from a region of Aeon called Root, with the skirmishers being from a colonized asteroid called Tavao, as revealed in Mortal Dictata, and Jewel and Dama's Kigyar being from the isolated continent of Ibish. Query. Can you clarify if 27 years in response to Sanghili lifespan were Earth or Sanghelios years? Query. Answer. Life expectancy from hatching recorded as 27 years at time of index. Query answers are in collections of Erda Tyrene Solar Days. Again, this is pre-array. It's interesting to think how much Sangheili lifespan has changed since the indexing. Sangheili now likely live well beyond the average human lifespan. Thelvanum was born on 2485 on the human calendar, yet still seemed young and active by 2558, or even by 2552. Query. How many Earth hours does it take for Sanghelios to rotate on its axis? Query answer. 29.5 hours. Query. How many Earth days does it take for Sanghelios to revolve one time around Urs? Query. Answer. 583.3 days. Query. How many UNSC credits does one Gex equal? Query. Answer. Human time records indicate that conversion between human, transitional economy, units, and covenant, transitional economy, units, varies depending on a multiplicity of excombium factors. So, human and covenant currency doesn't exactly have an exchange rate. Kind of interesting. Query. Do Ungoy and Julum Dama's covenant remnant belong to a certain subspecies, or are they genetically bred? Query. Answer. Human life worker records found in accessible frumentari cores do not indicate extensive gene craft modification by covenant life workers. Rudimentary forensic analysis of indexed Monachus Frigus gene plan records and... Epigenetic studies recorded by human life workers show anomalous phenotypic plasticity in addition to conclusive evidence of strong genetic structure in selected covenant 
combatants known to be sourced from specific breeding zones. This indicates either prolonged genetic drift in refugia populations or induced selection. The takeaway here is that there's a pretty diverse gene pool within the Ungoy species. Whether this is natural or the result of breeding by the Covenant is unknown, though. Query. There appears to be conflicting information as to where first contact between Legolo and the Covenant occurred, with some sources stating it was Tay, while others stated it was an unnamed gas giant. Can you clarify that? Priority. Query. Answer. First contact with hunters was on Rentus, a moon of gas giant Tay in 784 BCE. Ref. Halo Encyclopedia, page 30. Query. Can monitors of their own installation be rebuilt by said installation properties as a failsafe? Query. Answer. Monitor constructs are authorized to use all extant, refurbishing, equipment at their assigned site. Construction of new or replacement monitors is prohibited without express authority and oversight of Fleet Command. Query. What is the current status and location of Spartans B392, B091, G099, G291, and G313? Query. Answer. Assuming reference was to B292, Human Open Source Records, Lucy B091, currently active, assigned to Spartan Branch, August 2553, location classified. Tom B292, currently active, assigned to Spartan Branch, August 2553, location classified. Ash G099, status changed to KIA, September 2553. Olivia G291, Status changed to KIA, September 2553. Mark G313. Status changed to KIA, September 2553. Now this one really saddens me, especially in light of the recent killing of Black Team. Spartan 3 Team Saber, made up of Ash G099, Olivia G291, and Mark G313, died in September of 2553. It's just more well-established Spartans being killed off. It may be that the recent deaths of Black Team left a sour note in my mouth, though. I tried to get some clarification as to the nature of Saber's demise, but all we got was this. Clarification. Status was changed from MIA to KIA, September 2553, due to lack of any sign of life. So, Saber was listed as MIA initially, then KIA later on. Sadly, Catalog would not disclose the details of these deaths. Could that mean that a future story will? Probably not. Well, that's all from Catalog for now. Stay tuned for more as posts appear on Waypoint. If you have a question, head on over to the Halo Waypoint thread and give Catalog an ask. Worst that can happen is that it ignores your query. This has been Halo Cannon, and I'll see you next time, Spartans. Unless 343 kills you off. Or me. Shit. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.